I felt like I had a voice. People look at me and listen to me and to not use it, to not say anything, I, that's never really sat well with me. Family is incredibly important to me. I, I mean, I wouldn't be anything without my family. And you have diabetes, you take diabetes medicine, but as soon as you have to take medication for your mind, it's, there's such a stigma behind it. I really wanted it to work. I really wanted to, I wanted to do absolutely everything that I could do before giving up. I, I had a five year plan. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely had to uh, convince people to hire me. I certainly didn't think that it would be the thing that put me on the map, so to say, or the, um, I don't know, the thing that would, I just didn't think that it was gonna be big, really. Um, and I'm so wrong. It's just surpassed my expectations. At uh, 22 years old, you've got your first Oscar, and you've already had two nominations. Um, it's awfully young to have so much success so far. Do you, you feel that this is, uh, is it a good thing that it's coming so early in the career? I hope so. unfairness and inequality and you know it's not it's not just in the movie industry it's you know there's a 21 percent pay difference between men and women in America or you could go philosophical and say why are we so afraid of women <laughs> I think opening up the conversation, having these Times Up meetings where women can open up and, and they're very raw, but and not only are they an emotional, safe place, but we're also, every meeting is getting something done. My part is for the next year just going to be traveling around the United States trying to get young people engaged politically on a local level. If you're anything like me, you may find yourself constantly overwhelmed by everything that's wrong with politics. We are witnessing a total political system failure in America.